These Brownie Hawkeye 620 cameras are pretty good, but it's kind of hard to jam 120 film into a 620 camera. Um, one other thing I like to use is I like to use the Kodak number 13 close up filter. It's a Kodak number 13 close up filter. It's pretty good, so you can get close ups of people. Otherwise, when you get intimate close ups of people, it's always. Uh, they're always a little soft focus. So these sometimes these are black, sometimes they're silver. In order to fool these um, 620 cameras into taking 120 film, what I like to do is um, where the 120 feed reel spool goes on, I like to um, basically they have this thing right here that prevents prevents you from um, putting a one, you can put a 120 film reel on there, but when you start cranking it through the camera, it gets stuck against this area right here. So I take a file and I file it away. And I file it away like not too far, like a sixteenth of an inch or something, not very far at all. And you just have to file it away right where um, right where the 120 spool touches. And then for your take up, you still have to use a 620 spool. You still have to get an old 620 spool for take up, but then when you get it developed, um, or you develop it yourself, just keep that spool and keep reusing it. 620 spool, the older 620 spool, and uh, it's not quite as tall, it's slightly less tall and the 120 spool is just a little bit fatter. So you can easily put the 120 spool, full 120 spool of film in the Hawkeye, but then for take up, you still need to use the old steel uh, 620 spool. And you'll also notice on these spools that the, um, that the, uh, the place where the, uh, where it fits in on a 120 spool is much larger than a 620 spool and the 620 spool is actually designed not to be used with 120 film but the film itself is the same so um, so you still have to use a 620 spool but uh, it's up to somebody else to figure out a way to adapt these cameras to use a 120 spool as a take up And also, in order to fit the 120 f spool where the 620 spool needs to go, this little tab needs to be dealt with in one way or another. This little tab right here, with the 120 spool on there, he's coming out farther than the outside of the bake light. So he's a steel tab, so you gotta kind of bend him back. So when you put the 120 spool on, it'll fit on. But you also have to kind of worry about the, the spool kind of going sideways or something like that because this keeps that steel holder of the spool on there so you don't want the 120 spool to go sideways. But uh, I am going to bend that back. <laughs> 